During Comic-Con 2022, Marvel surprised everyone by revealing the MCU Phase 5 schedule. Since then, Marvel fans have been digging into which projects are coming in Phase 5 and what they could mean for the larger MCU saga. In this Comic Book Nation deep dive, we will take a look at each of the projects coming in Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, explain what they are exactly, and speculate about why they're arriving when they are. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania will be the beginning of Phase 5 and will reveal more mysteries about the Quantum Realm universe and officially introduce Jonathan Majors as Kang, the big bad of the MCU multiverse saga, who will bring a multitude of variant selves with him. Ant-Man 3 will also debut a new young hero when Scott Lang's daughter Cassie suits up, played by Katherine Newton. We will also see MODOK debut in the MCU as part of Ant-Man 3, a Marvel villain fans have been waiting to see on screen and hopefully won't look like some of the horrible concept art we've seen floating around. Secret Invasion is Marvel's espionage series coming to Disney Plus, and it will see Nick Fury uncovering a plot by an evil faction of Skrulls. The title of the show is a hot button reference to a pivotal Marvel comic storyline, which revealed key heroes and world figures had been deep cover scroll agents for years in a plot to stage a planet-sized coup against Earth. Secret Invasion could pull out a lot of big twists for what the scrolls are doing on both Earth and in the cosmos, and will likely connect to the Marvel's movie that comes afterward. It will also be the first time we see Don Cheadle's war machine since Avengers Endgame. All that is really helpful. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will be the end of James Gunn's Guardian of the Galaxy trilogy and is going to introduce pivotal Marvel characters like Adam Warlock in the High Evolutionary before it shatters us emotionally. Echo has gone from being a Hawkeye spinoff to a major event series that will officially reunite Charlie Cox's Daredevil and Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin. However, the real star of the show is still Alakwa Cox's Maya Lopez and we can't wait for more of her dark crime drama corner of the MCU. Loki Season 2 will continue opening the door on the MCU multiverse saga and the threat of Kang and his variants. Season 1 did ended with Tom Hiddleston's Loki stranded in a reality ruled by Kang, which is possibly a pivotal place to be by the time Avengers the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars arrive. The Marvels will do more than continue Carol Danvers' story. It will see Captain Marvel and Ms. Marvel finding out their powers may be linked while WandaVision's Monica Rambeau finds out her new powers are also part of that same puzzle as well. Secret Invasion could also have a big influence on the story of the Marvels if evil scrolls have been busy at work in the cosmos as well as on Earth. Ironheart's Riri Williams will debut in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but the MCU needs a new armored Avenger slash genius engineer, and Riri will be stepping into that role. The threads of the Iron Man franchise have been hanging loose for some time in the MCU, and Ironheart could be a pivotal first step to picking them up again. We now have it confirmed that actor Anthony Ramos will be joining the MCU as major gang leader The Hood, starting in Ironheart, which is just one of several hints that Phase 5 will see a major Villains Rising arc take shape. The Marvel Knights supernatural side of things has been teased in the Moon Knight series and Eternals post credit scene, but the Marvel Blade movie is the first film that will potentially open the door to it all. Rumors about this movie say it could focus on Blade training his own daughter to be a vampire slayer, and it just so happens that character got her Marvel Comics debut this year, so who knows? After Blade helps flesh out the supernatural side of the MCU, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, will be there to hopefully help us better understand how witches and their brand of Marvel magic fit into the larger picture. Deadpool 3 has not yet been confirmed, but we know Marvel has a February 2024 date held, and Ryan Reynolds is already back to training for the Deadpool role. A director has been found in Free Guy, Sean Levy, while Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick are back to handle the script once again. All signs are currently pointing to Deadpool 3 in 2024, which would be an official beginning to the X-Men franchise in the MCU. Daredevil Born Again's title could have some big implications. The comic book story was all about Wilson Fisk, the Kingpin, finding out Matt Murdock is Daredevil and systematically destroying his life thereafter, forcing Matt to vanish and start a new life under a new identity. With Daredevil Netflix stars Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio both back, this is easily one of fans' most anticipated projects in Phase 5. Like with Daredevil, the title Captain America New World Order could be telling us a lot more than it initially seems. Based on Marvel Comics history, the New World Order was a group Red Skull founded that was made up of supervillains operating in secret and coordination. 
Anthony Mackie, Sam Wilson will be the one taking up the shield following the Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV series, and it sounds like Sam could be in for the rude awakening that the bad guys are taking advantage of a world without the Avengers. Thunderbolts began as a comic series telling the story of supervillains pretending to be superheroes in order to fool the public, but over the years it has gone on to become everything from a government task force to a suicide squad run by the Kingpin. So yeah, it's looking like Captain America 4 and Thunderbolts could end Phase 5 by putting supervillains at the forefront of the MCU. That's the end of Marvel's Phase 5 lineup. Which MCU movie or TV show are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the Comic Book Nation YouTube channel. Download the podcast on your favorite platforms. And be sure to watch live every week here and on Twitch. I'm Kofi Outlaw, host of Comic Book Nation. Peace.